Hi, my name is Marcella Areca, recording and mixing engineer that's worked with everybody from Madonna, Usher, Britney Spears, Duran Duran, and that's just to name a few. Today I'm here to talk about HEQ. HEQ is a five parametric band EQ with both high and low pass shell filters and seven different EQ types, which I'll get into right now. So getting right into this, the HEQ obviously has the five parametric band EQs that you see here. In addition, they have the high pass and the low pass filters. The seven different EQ types would be listed on each band. You see them listed here where it says US Vintage, UK Vintage 1, UK Vintage 2, US Modern, UK Modern, Digital 1, and Digital 2. Now there's a couple different modes that this EQ can work in. Obviously there's the stereo mode, unlinked and dual, which would be basically a different EQ processing may be applied to both the left and right channels. The more special mode that this EQ can work in is what's called the MS Matrix Sum Difference Mode. MS Matrix separates the stereo input into M, which is also known as the sum, on the left side, or S, which is also known as the difference on the right side, which enables you to do different EQ to the M and the S channels. You can get as versatile and creative as you want with this EQ in this mode. So whether you want to work in stereo or you want to work in MS, it's all up to you. Another feature on this EQ would be the analyzer, which presents a real-time graphical display of both your input signal, your output, or both, as well as the EQ curve currently applied to your signal. So moving on, another feature that they do have is the piano roll, which is a unique feature that HEQ lets you choose frequencies by clicking on those. So let's look for a couple of examples. Let's say you're a musician and you are telling the engineer that you're hearing the note of E1 that's somewhat just kind of out of whack and it's coming from the bass guitar. Now if you simply click on the low frequency, you see it's highlighting now, and you go over to the note of E1 on the piano, as you can see now it's reading at 41 hertz. You know, it will just directly just snap right to that frequency and you're able to just, you know, pull that note and, and sweep it down or up or whatever it is that you're feeling is needed or you need to take away. So let's talk about the output section for a second. The output fader, which obviously controls signal output level. In stereo mode, there are separate left and right channel faders available, which are linked. But in MS or unlinked modes, the faders do move separately to accommodate left, right, or M or S for channel level differences. Um, also in the output section, you do have your phase buttons, which flips the signal by 180 degrees. And down here at the bottom of the output section, you have your trim, which displays the maximum peak level of the output signal. Uh, the last thing I'd like to talk about today would be the asymmetrical filter, which is a one-of-a-kind filter that HEQ has developed. Now, it's important to note that the cue for this filter does not change the width of the bell, but rather it controls the tilt of the filter. So lower cue values are especially effective on low frequency signals like bass, kick drum, and piano while high cue settings work well on high frequency content such as cymbals, vocals, strings, etc. So basically this is the HEQ with some of the cool features that I've got to explain today and you know there's a lot more and you'd have to just explore it and play with it and I personally love it. I've been using it on all of my mixes, um, everything from drums to vocals, like there is no limit to using this EQ and I think that's what makes it so unique. I hope you love it as much as I do.